everybody, welcome to the Stardew Valley. So I'm just gonna play a uh, one that I've I've done before. Um, this one I've barely started, but I have worked on a little bit. I cleared out all of the uh, brush. I have. Uh, maintained everything to a decent amount um i mean i have the basic house and i have a small farm uh hello dear i know you're g just getting started as a gardener so i wanted to give you a little tip most crops only grow in one season when summer arrives your spring crops will all die out so plan ahead granny evelyn why, thank you, Evelyn. It's, uh, nice to see that somebody is, uh, actually worried about me. Um, it is always appreciated. So, um... Let's see, there's nothing really I can do yet. Um, so I'm just gonna water all these. Um... Mm, yeah, I got another person. I'm not a thousand percent sure what all of these seeds are. Um, I didn't plant them all at the same time, obviously, and some of them are just wild random seeds. Um, Uh, I don't really have a lot of money yet. Um, I do have a bit more on one of my other worlds. Um, I have two other worlds. One with all of me and my friends. And then one that is uh, just mine. Um, it was the starting one and I kind of uh, mess messed it up a bit. And it's just for messing around and trying new things right now so uh, tips and tricks automatically go over there hello Sean how are you doing today I know this is a little bit of a different format um, today I'm playing on my Xbox rather than on my PC okay, it's more clay to go into the uh, chest I have back here. So, I'm going to, uh... What's this? This is Stardew Valley. Sorry, the mic is fairly close to my mouth and it's fairly sensitive. Um, but, uh, I've been doing pretty good. This is Stardew Valley. It's kind of like Minecraft or, uh, Mm, Forager, which is something that I've also played on my stream. Uh, very chill, kind of just crafting, um, having fun type thing. There's a little bit of story to it, uh, but mostly you just own a farm. Um, it doesn't really tend to go very far with how I play because I kind of just do whatever um, you can speed run it kind of uh, you can do all of the objectives as soon as possible if you want I'm not very good at that so I don't tend to do it but you can So right now I'm just grabbing the salmon berries from these bushes. Um, later on, once I level up a bit, I will be able to turn them into wine or preserves. Both are fairly useful. I don't think you can turn salmon berries into seeds, though. Ooh, yeah, I got another... Um, 
one of the seed makers so I can get more seeds for my farm, which is always good. So I'm going to dump these because they're silver star. Um, and I'm going to grab these and I'm going to go into my menu. I'm going to slide and get the wild seeds. There we go. Um, so let me just dig a bit more and make my farm a bit bigger. So, you can tell by the petals, because that's how they express it, that this is pollen season. Um, and there are some characters, like a AI characters, that uh, have like allergies and stuff. And sometimes they'll give you like side missions. It's pretty cool. Um, there are rainy days and uh, stuff, which is kind of cool, kind of interesting. Um, I have that little energy bar on the side that I can. Uh, increase slowly over time Just get more and more energy scare off the birds because I can um, the bathhouse isn't open yet sometimes I think that it's in a uh, it was in a patch but no it was um, something I hadn't seen before because I never go down there after the first bit I always stay at home um, especially with my friends, because, I mean, pretty much my job with them is just take care of the farm, take care of the house, especially with the animals. Um, we get to the point where there's, like, animals that you have to take care of daily, and it just gets insane. So, the historian's over here, um, and something I don't tend to do, but will do on occasion, is check all the trash cans. Uh, this is the, um, blacksmith. He gave me a forge, but I haven't used it yet, and it's the mail, that's the, uh, minecart thing. Um, which I should unlock later. Um, I'm not sure when I will do that. But for now, I'm just going to keep growing my farm. Um, but checking these trash cans can be fairly useful. Occasionally, they will explode on you, though. Um, but then you get the uh, trash can hat. Let me grab this flower. Grab some more of these seeds. Um, I know you can go to the beach to get more stuff. I don't really tend to, though. Um, there's not a lot over there to get. So, Vincent is wondering why it's locked. Jess thinks Gunther has a key. So, the guy who runs the museum has the key. Big rusty key fell out of his pocket one time. So, the big door has to be match for that key. Great. So creepy. Oh no, noises. There's something moving around in there. Yes. Be the big human and go check it out. Really? So 
So you just... Am I never going to see that screen again? Okay, fine. So she's taking pictures. Some more. Uh, these. Gonna clear out this area. I do tend to like to clear out the, the brush uh, fairly frequently on most of the areas. It makes it easier to maneuver through. Because um, I want to just be able to run through it if I need to. Like if it's, if it's getting late, like one-ish, I just want to be able to zoom straight on by. The rocks I tend to do a little bit less, but I will still take care of if need be. Like if there's a lot of them. Um. Yeah, the sound the sound of wood breaking is very satisfying. Uh, hold on, let me. There you go. Nice little clip of that for you. So definitely the sap I'm just going to get rid of. It's not very useful at this stage. Um, the Jojo Coco isn't really that useful either. Uh, another huge important thing for this, um, you're actually going to clip it <laughs> for this, uh, game is that, um, they will try to get you to go with the big mart. There's this big, uh, store, but they end up, like, ruining everything if you, like, just buy from them constantly because they will like start raising up their prices really high the other store will go out of business Pierre's um, I I'll do it later uh, you can have it on replay if you really really like it just set that to your uh, ringtone sorry I know my mics like picks up everything my mic is very sensitive on this headset, using a slightly different headset than um, normal. Not ready to go to bed yet. It's still light outside in, uh, for the windows in my house. So I'm going to stash these off for now. Um, normally when anything gets to, like, full, like, uh, 999, um, that's when I will start throwing it away for cash. Uh, see, now it's officially night. So, my cat sleeps on my bed, uh, Miso, and, um, it gets dark inside my house. Soon-ish... Uh, I am hopefully going to have more stuff and be able to, like, actually have fun with my, uh, house. Hello, dear neighbor. I hope you are feeling settled in your new home. I am writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? Pierre. So, Pierre is the small... Um, town shop. They're they're who competes against the uh, the uh, big shop, JoJo's or whatever they're called. 
So I'm gonna sell the starred ones, okay? And then I'm going to grab these. And I'm going to make uh, some more seats. So, this is my friend's farm, but since they're offline, I do take care of it. Um, so, like, I, I plant the seeds when they're gone, I water it since it's on my console. Uh, and it's technically my world, I still take care of their farm. Um, now, the stuff that they had planted here, I put in their chest so that they can use it whenever they need or want. And since we have different money, we have separate uh, total G. Um, I don't have to worry about using their money and they don't have to worry about using mine. Now they can't play without me because this is on my home console, so they don't they can't really do the same for me, but I know that they would if it was on their console. Because we do share one that is on their console. So every single day I gotta water these unless it's raining. Um, I can get a weather forecast on my TV, but most of the time it's just a waste of time, I find. Uh, the only thing that really isn't is the cooking show, which most of the time I just forget about. So the cooking show gives you different recipes that you can make once you get a like kitchen in your house, uh, as long as you have the ingredients. Um, different foods give you a certain amount of energy, um, like this is the food that I use now, which is the field snack. You saw my energy went up and it gave me 45 energy, as it says on the left. So I'm going to go dump these three um, spring flowers things into this chest. I'm gonna go look for some more flowery things. Um, let's see, I got maple seeds, pine seeds, I need the one other type of seed, so I might go get some more wood. So that means more wood sounds, which means I can make a nice high quality wood sounds clip for you. Very satisfying. Gonna, oh, there's a leak up there. Let me go grab that after I grab this salmon berry. Well, I mean, I need more um, seeds anyway. Wood seeds. Sorry, my AC turned on, so I gotta move slightly away from the uh, air conditioner. I know my uh, mic can be a little sensitive. Um, I also know that it's very picky with how far you get away from it, because if you get too far, it won't pick you up. Like, at all. Though this is also a very old headset. Um, I believe this headset is five or six years old. Um, me and online NPC used to have matching ones, but uh, he doesn't have his anymore. Yeah, I, I will cut down every tree. I mean, that, that is something I will do for my stream. Now, in public areas, they will grow back, like this one. If I cut this down now, in a couple days, there will be a full-size tree here, once again. That is how the world takes care of itself, which means that there is an endless supply of wood.
don't worry, these trees replant themselves. Um, this one was not NPCs at the time. My, uh, this is the, uh, Razor Kraken, and, um, mine was pink, and still is pink, and his was blue. Um, he doesn't have his anymore, his wore down really, really bad, and he ended up giving it to somebody else who really apparently needed a headset, so he no longer uses it. Uh, he didn't use it for a very long time once he started getting into PC gaming. Well, actually, once he, like... Once he wasn't 100% all the time on console, he pretty much stopped using the uh, Kraken headset. He started using Bluetooth and things like that, and that's perfectly fine. I don't really mind that. Um, now, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Bluetooth headsets, personally, but that's my own thing. Deforestation might be a crime, but I am going to commit it several times. So don't worry about that. Also, it sucks being on console sometimes, especially with the format that it is, because I can't see the chat, so I have it pulled up on my phone. So I have to like glance down at it from time to time to make sure I'm actually reading chat. I also don't know how different the uh, the time is. I mean, I have a gist. So this is a slightly different type of tree. There we go. So those are the maple seeds. I don't really need those. So young. How young do you think I am? How old do you have to be till it's acceptable to commit crimes? Especially in a video game. Like, how, how many video games do you play that, like, 70s? How many video games do you play that, like, have severe, like, breaking of rules, of laws? Because, like, I play GTA all the time. Me and my friends find it absolutely, or me and my friends used to find it absolutely hilarious to um, sneak into the military base, steal helicopters, and helicopter joust. So helicopter jousting is where you fly the helicopters straight into each other and uh, you see who wins and who survives. It's pretty much chicken with helicopters. But specifically you try to hit the other person's blades with your blades. If a grandmother <laughs> wants to rob a bank, I would just let her. You don't care. Honestly, it's one of two things. She's either completely nuts and just wants a vacation, or she's trying to do it for her grandbabies. If it's, if it's legit a grandmother. Like, sometimes I think that the grandmas and the boomers know, like, what to do with their money a bit more than my generation. Now, I'm not saying that all do. I'm not saying that, um, not all of my generations know what to do. She's a thug. <laughs> She's a thug and in a gang. Maybe. I mean, it all depends on where you're raised. But 
Though, I mean, imagining something like that is, is kind of cool. Um, I am, I, I have admittedly imagined, um, a grandma rapper. To, to today's standards, of course. Which I find very amusing. Just like covered in tattoos, not giving a crap, just like saying what, yeah, exactly, it's super funny. Saying whatever she wants. Because, I mean. Six nine ish look. Yeah. Okay, I could I could see it. Though it's not as as interesting as the emo grandmother. Though less terrifying than the e girl grandmother. Need to go sell these. Yeah, not the e-girl. Like, imagine your grandmother as an e-girl. Never be able to look at e-girls the same. Somebody says they're an e-girl? Nah. Why would I say that? Clearly, I mean, I, I don't know if you were here um, back in the day, but um, I say back in the day like I've been existing for forever. But uh, on some of my first streams, um, it became clear that my channel is cursed. I'm so evil, how dare I do? Yeah, exactly, I'm evil. I mean, could you, how would you find out, though, like, you just accidentally stumble across, like, one of your grandmother's social media pages that she's been hiding from you for years? Is that what the future's gonna be like in, like, I don't know, 50 years, 60 years? Her old MySpace. I mean, it wouldn't be an old MySpace if it if she still uses it now. I mean, it'd be it'd be up to date. Now, would it also have like pictures of of you and your family and be like, "Oh, look at look at my precious babies, my family." As well, or would it just be E Girl? That is the question. Like how I'm playing this super duper sweet, innocent game and like talking about grandmother E Girls. Clearly, everything is fine. Don't worry about. All right, person himself. Yeah, yeah. Though sometimes it feels like. Like, my, my, especially with my, uh, parents, they're just like, in, in the moment, they're like, oh, they can do anything they want to, but then, as soon as it's passed, it's like, huh, you looked fucking stupid. As, like, the moment it stops. They're supportive until they got you on camera doing something stupid and decide to post it on YouTube.
I mean... There are things... There are things... Hold on, let me, let me make some more wood. A very satisfying wood sounds. Maybe it'll help this uh interesting commentary. Double berry, yeah. It's gonna be so stupid when I'm when I post this later on like YouTube. And people are gonna have no clue who or what I'm talking about because it doesn't show my chat. They're gonna be so lost. <laughs> I'm gonna feel bad. I'm gonna be like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Most ber most of these uh, do give double berry though. At least this video can't get more cursed than like my Doki Doki Literature Club videos, which I am not going to be doing any more of. Like, I made the mistake of relating most of the characters to me and my friend group and thinking I, who reminded me of myself, was Monica. And, um,. The one who reminded me of my significant other was, uh, Sawyeri. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was great. Doki Doki Literature Club, uh, it's a game, um, you can watch it on my channel, uh, you, I believe it's all on YouTube right now, um, so it's a little dating simulator at the beginning where you're this kid who joins a literature club. But uh, everything takes a sharp turn really fast. Really fast. Now, I do know the story of it. Um, I don't want to spoil it on camera or record. Um, I'm not on camera, so I'm not going to say camera. Uh. But uh no um video game became self-aware type stuff uh you you should do some research into it um I d don't really want to give too much away on stream um but you can watch my videos on it you can watch a couple other people's videos on it um i would be careful it's not suitable for all audiences it goes into murder and suicide and um masochism sadism um, uh, major killing of almost all characters, um, torment and torture, severe depression, um, yeah, it goes into a lot of stuff very fast. So, um, yeah, it's, it's not stuff that uh is suitable for every everybody uh, I, I guess um I mean you can you can do that that's perfectly fine it is not my cup of tea I will admit I am kind of fragile to stuff like that. Uh, that stuff hits really hard for me. Um, 
so I can't be around that. But if you can, and if you want to, good. Have fun. Yeah, it, uh, it, it's a lot. It is so much. Um, I hated it. Yeah. Yeah. It it really sucks, because I related all of the characters to real-life people. People that I know and I have cared for for years. And, um... Watching them all, all die by my character's hands, the character I related to, really sucked and messed with me for a long time. I say a long time, but it was maybe a week. It still messes with me sometimes, but uh, it, it wasn't really that cool. Um, I, I will say I have not go um, I have not tried to, nor have I killed any of my friends. I am not like the character in those aspects. Um, I will say I have my down points. I will say that life's not perfect. Life sucks sometimes. Um, and I do have friends who have depression and who have thought about those things. And I've tried to help them as best as I can. Um, one of my parents believes I might also have depression and anxiety. Um, but, I mean, I'm kind of okay with that. I don't mean to, like, downsize it at all, but I'm not sure, so I don't want to say, yes, I have this. Um, but I also know that there's nothing I can really do about it right now, especially in quarantine, with all this going on, um, there's no nothing I can do. I can't be like, oh, well, I gotta go see the doctor, I have to go out and see people and do things, because I can't. I have to stay inside, stay safe, keep everybody else safe. Um. Yeah, um, I have friends I reach out to whenever I feel really, really bad. Um, I know sometimes I feel bad for no reason at all and it's not really something i can talk to everybody about um yeah it, it's okay um and i mean I, I can't say everything on stream but uh uh i am very careful and i try to reach out to certain people um I'm careful, though, with who I reach out to, because I know some people, uh, disagree with certain things, um, about that, so I try to respect their opinions as best as possible, um, because I know just starting a fight over that is not cool. I mean, it's not going to make anything better. Trust me, some of my family would legit get into arguments about, one, whether I'm telling the truth or not, and two, 
um, whose fault it is, because sometimes my family can be like that, and that's, that's okay, I mean, they're just trying their best. I need to give Robin her axe. Like how I'm talking about this, like, super deep stuff while I'm playing this little itty bitty cutesy game. Um, but yeah, I, I've had to deal with that a bit. Um, my brother has had some issues with that when I was, uh, a bit younger. Um, so I, I understand a lot about that. Um, one of my friends actually went to a hospital, um, for a, a while uh, because they were suicidal um, they are they have gotten a lot better and they are continuing to grow and get better and I am so proud of them for trying so hard and doing so well um, I just try my best to be there for them as much as I can because it's not easy and while some people might just brush it off and s some people sadly think that depression is just sadness and everybody feels that way it's a bit more than that um, it can be a constant feeling and it can also be a um, something that just doesn't really have a cause. You're sad because you're sad. And sometimes your brain will make up reasons to be sad. And it sucks when that happens. I also am aware that um, it is no laughing matter. And that is why I try very hard to make sure that no one that I hang around thinks that it is okay to make fun of somebody who has depression or say to someone something along the lines of you should just go kill yourself because that is never okay because some people are on the edge and it is, it is a horrible thing to say to anybody, no matter how mad you are. Yeah. Yeah, straight up, that is, that is everyday conversation with me as well. Though it tends to go the other way around. I will go from deep stuff to like, super duper ridiculous, like... Um, I don't know. Scythe dildo. Some shit like that. Just straight up random. And most of the time, I will admit, I mean, I'm a, I'm a teenager. I find stupid ass jokes funny. You know, stupid, dumb sex jokes funny. <laughs> A Saint Row weapon. <laughs> I is that, or is that not, better than the dildo tornado with the grandmas outside? Better from uh, Markiplier's stream several years ago. I know that's like really old now. Because it was like, what? Six years ago? God, back in the olden days. Yeah, it was so long ago. I, ah, uh, I fucking miss those days. He made that joke. Though, is it or is it not better than the ghosts at the, um, the Victoria's Secret? 
store. Cause that, that was a pretty good one too. See, we went from super like deep emotional shit to like random WTF are they talking about? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was in the same stream or like fairly close to each other. I've seen the animations of all of them. Oh, uh, I love seeing story time animations. Especially of like people like Markiplier's stuff, because they are just so random. So funny. Um, I mean, the Werecats was also pretty good. Uh, that one's pretty popular, though. There's like a full-on official animation of that, isn't there? I have no idea how long I've been streaming. Okay, it's been about 44 minutes. Um, I'm not huge on names, actually, so I have no clue. The only time I know somebody's name is if I addictively watch their videos and hear their name get said over and over and over and over and over again. That is the only reason I know Mark's name. I also did go to one of his, his, uh, welcome tour when he was in Texas. Um, so that was, that was amazing. Uh, I didn't get to ask the question I had at the very end, but it still was fantastic. Um, I'm sure they play VR and dumb skits and other stuff. That sounds pretty cool. Do you watch Googly Eyes? Uh, he does VR. He does green screen VR so that you can also see them in VR. Um, it's very interesting. Um, get some more wood. All the wood sounds. Um, they remind you of your friends when you play games and get bored? No, you haven't? That's okay. Um, he's, uh, Matthias. Um, he used to hang out with Markiplier all the time. They kind of stopped. Uh, he is a part of, or he used to be a part of the Edge or whatever. Oh, I used to watch them. Um, he doesn't really do it anymore, but he used to all the time. So I think I'm going to end this stream here. We'll see how much money I earn because I start out with like 32, I believe. So we're at day 19, spring, year one. So I've done 19 days. So, um, so I went from 3,200 to 4,100. Okay. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, it was fun talking to you, Sean. Um, me and online will be streaming tomorrow morning, so, or at least I will. Um, he'll probably just be playing with me. So if you want to join and have fun, you can, uh, join us. You're gonna hop on Killing Floor? Cool. Killing Floor is a lot of fun. Um, so you're more than welcome to.